19 year old Tucker Hips was found dead in Lake Hartwell after participating in an early morning run with his fraternity uh, Sigma Phi Epsilon for 11 months. People didn't know what happened. Did he jump over a bridge? Was he forced to jump over a bridge? Was he pushed over this bridge? His family attorney has said that there was a history at this fraternity of forcing pledges to jump over bridges and swim to shore as part of a hazing ritual. And we also know from the for the uh, attorney that uh, the brothers were upset with him that, that morning because he was supposed to bring McDonald's breakfast, but he didn't have the money to do it. So three brothers, as you mentioned, are being sued. One of them, the son of Delaware Congressman John Carney. Uh, and now we're learning that a new witness has come forward, finally giving the, the family some perspective on what might have happened, saying that Tucker was in fact forced to walk along the railing of the bridge. This is what the, the court documents say, that Tucker slipped from the railing and caught the railing under his arms tried to climb back onto the bridge unassisted, lost his grip on the bridge and fell head first into the water below, striking his head on the rocks in the shallow water. Of course, afterward, the lawsuit says that they tried to cover it up. They waited several hours before they called police or, and reported him missing. They even lied to his girlfriend about where he was, telling her he'd been seen in the library. I talked to his mother yesterday, absolutely heartbroken. As you can imagine, this is what she told me. She said, it does answer some questions. It connects some of the dots. His dad and I miss him so terribly. He is still the first thing and the last thing we think about every day, and he is just terribly miss. Of course, she's still wondering if their son, their only son, died over McDonald's biscuits. And well, I have to tell you stupid hazing ritual, right? Allegedly. So so what all does the, the university say? Well, all the defendants are denying all of these allegations. Of course, the lawyer for uh, John Carney's son, Sam Carney, says that Sam didn't see anything that day and doesn't know how Tucker went over the bridge. All the defendants are essentially saying the same thing.